Love looks with not the eye, but the mind. A famous William Shakespeare quote. But in this instance, what the eye sees will certainly blow the mind. On the 400th anniversary of William Shakespeare, micro-artist Willard Wigan chose to create a sculpture of the great man. A sculpture that is smaller than a human hair. The sculpture is the latest on show at the Willard Wigan exhibition at the Lighthouse Centre in Wolverhampton. This particular piece has been described as Willard's greatest portrait to date by the Bard of Avon. But what does the man think himself? It's one of them, yeah, because it, it's, it's, it's way up there. Um, the detail is tremendous, so I'm, I'm very happy with it. But it's different. Um, well, it's the best piece. Everything's different. It's, uh, if I would have had more time, it would have been even better. But I was on, it took me about four weeks to do, so I never really had enough time to, uh, to make it exactly what I wanted it to be, but it's still a very, very powerful piece. The exhibition has been running for the last four weeks and has left many guests amazed by what they have seen. Willard's work will remain on show until May the 2nd, and the people in charge at the Lighthouse Centre have been delighted with the response. It's almost been like, um, like revitalising this place. Um, obviously, we've had a lot of other previous exhibitions beforehand, obviously, you know, different variations, but this one is of its own special kind. So, like, we brought in a lot more people. Um, for example, I was speaking to someone last week who said they're travelling all the way from Belgium. Um, I spoke to a couple of other families who are coming from New Zealand, Switzerland, and then you've got a couple of locals who are just down the road. But, you know, it's sort of bringing, it's like a global phenomenon and it's all right here at the Lighthouse. You would have had many exhibitions here. How does this one rank? alongside all the other ones that you've had? I don't want to come across as biased, but I'm, I'm going to personally say number one, because like I said, it offers its own, its own uniqueness, just like the other ones do, but obviously this one's a lot more interactive, and I've, we've never come across something as unique as this. Willard Wiggins' work has been showcased around the world, resulting in him being placed in the Guinness Book of Records, as well as receiving an MBE. So what would the reaction be when you see it firsthand for the first time? Wow. It is incredible. For anybody that hasn't come to the exhibition yet, what would you say to them that are thinking about coming? Come. Because you won't get a chance for a while to see this many of his work, of Willard's works together all at the same time. They are incredible. It, it's just wonderful. I don't know how he does any of it. And the Shakespeare one especially, it's fantastic. If you want to blow your mind, just come down and see the Willard Wigan exhibition. And I would like you to all get a pack of needles and get the smallest needle in the pack and look into the eye of that needle and imagine seeing the whole of the Last Supper inside that, or Evolution of Man, or William Shakespeare inside the Ivor Needle in perfect proportion. You're going to see something very different and very special. To see or not to see, those were the words of Shakespeare himself, and it is somewhat fitting that one of the most artistic writers of all time is celebrated with what can only be described as artistic genius. Aaron Wiggins for The Midland.